Welcome back aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Telisco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about a rumor which is Google will be using Swift for Android. Oh, hold on, that's not the case. Uh, so let's talk about even if this, even if that's the case, we'll, we'll try to understand why Google is doing that or why this rumor is there. Uh, it's because Oracle is suing Google for using the licensed version of JDK because uh, as you know Java was created by Sun Microsystem and later Oracle bought Sun in year 2011 I guess. Now Java belongs to Oracle right so Java, JDK, uh, then we have JVM so everything belongs to uh, Oracle. So even if you go to Android Studio, so if you are an Android developer, if you open Android Studio, if you go to About Android Studio, you can see that it written that you have an Android programming and it also returns the JVM version with it says uh, it says by an Oracle Corporation, right? That means you are using Java, which is which is given you by Oracle. So Google is using the proprietary software of Oracle. So that's the case. So Oracle is suing Google because of that, and now Google don't have any answer for that. Right. So from in year 2008, Google is using Java. So from uh, Google is using Java for Android, right? So it's from last eight years, people are working on Android using Java language. Now Google has two choices here. Just to come out from the suit, uh, it has one choice using Open JDK, which is the open source version of uh, JDK, and then we have Swift language. So what is Swift? Swift is a programming language made by Apple. So if you are using iOS, if you are using Apple iPhone, uh, of course, iPhone, if, then you'll be having, uh, so those apps are written either in Objective-C or in Swift. So Apple has two languages. One is Objective-C and Swift. So Swift was introduced uh, two years back, I guess in 2000, I'm not sure, 2013 or 14. So it was in, so it is a very new, new language now. So it's been only three to three years for Swift programming, right? So Google has two choices. They can go for OpenJDK or, or they can go for Swift. So if they are going for OpenJDK, that means if you are an Android developer, you have to use OpenJDK, not JDK, this time for the new software development, right? So that's the easy, easy solution, right? But let's say if the allegation is true, if the rumor is true, Google will be using Swift for Android. Uh, now, this this is this this is concern for two of people here who are already working on Android. So let's say if you are doing Android development for the last two to three years or maybe five years, you are working on Java app, Java programming, right? So you have used Java programming for Android applications. But now, if you are using if you if Google is coming with Swift, you have to learn a new language, right? So that's a big task. Second, if you are, if you want to learn Android now, so let's say you are a college student or you you're just passing out your you're just completing your graduation or you're working on some other platform. Let's say you are a PHP developer, you are a Ruby developer, you are maybe some other developer. Now you want to switch to Android. Now which language to choose now? Because if the allegation is true, you have to learn Swift. If that is not true, if rumor is not true, you have to learn Java, right? So which one to choose? So let's imagine. Let's imagine. Google is using Swift, okay? So the later version will be using Swift for that language, or for that Android. The problem is, even if Google switches to Swift, we have to change lots of things, which is not impossible for Google, but it is that it is damn difficult. First, Google need to change Android runtime, right? So we need to, now we cannot use uh, JVM runtime, which is ART. We need to use Swift runtime for Android devices. Second, second problem is we will be having, there are lots of libraries written for Android using C++ language. So we have a Java and C++ bridge. We don't have that thing with uh, Swift programming. So that means we need to change lots of libraries. We need to change the whole runtime environment. The third problem is the developers. If we talk about Android, it uses Java now, right? And there, there's a huge, huge market for Java developers. What about Swift programmers? We don't have much Swift programming available, right? So if now Google chooses to work with Swift, we don't have developers. That means there will not be any new app in next one month, in the next one year. That's the problem, right? So again, it will the developer will grow, of course, right? If you if you don't have choice, if you want to learn Swift, you will learn Swift, but it will take some time, right? So it be, it will be a risk for Google to switch to Swift, right? So that's the third problem. So because of these three problems, it will take, if it is true, it will take huge amount of time, maybe two to three years to implement Swift, right? Or what Google can do is they can use 
two languages side by side so they can use Java and Swift side by side so if you are a Java developer you can work as a Java developer and parallel in what year you can learn Swift and it's not difficult to learn Swift okay uh, even I have learned Swift in two or three days uh, not completely but uh, I know basics of Swift I just learned it in two, two to three days because I, I know Java right so if you know Java syntax is almost same compared to Java uh, if you talk about Swift and Java so Swift is almost similar to Java so if you know Java well you can learn Swift in two to three days not complete but let's say let's expand the duration to two weeks right so at least in two weeks you can learn the complete C, uh, Swift programming right but let's say if you if you don't know what is uh, if you if you don't know what is Java if you don't know what is uh, Swift the problem is to learn Swift we don't have we don't have much books to learn Swift uh, we don't have much questions on stack overflow so when you are a java developer you know what is stack overflow right so all your doubts will be cleared by stack overflow website but what what for swift we don't have much questions answered in stack overflow so we have limited questions there so the resources are lacking for swift I, again i'm not saying uh, it will not change in future maybe in future you'll be having lots of programmers working on swift programming and they got lot, lots of resources i'm talking about the current situation right so it is very difficult for google to switch to swift directly okay so they might be using java side by side with swift and then people can learn swift uh, you know in in some time okay okay so nothing to worry so let's say now now if you want to be an android developer then what so do you learn java and answer is yes even if google is switching to swift it will take some time maybe two to three years okay so by the time learn java don't wait okay don't wait for that uh, answer from google what they are doing uh, so start with Java now, okay, so from today learn Java, understand the concepts of Java, start making Android apps. If in two, one or two years Google announced that they are going for Swift, that's okay, right? It, it, it will still take next one year to implement. So what you can do, if you know Java, if you know how to make apps, you can learn Swift in one week because making Android apps is not program specific, right? It is logic. You should know how to create apps. So start building apps, learn Java now, start building apps, publish it on the uh, on your Play Store. If they are switching to Swift, you can learn Swift. But now, let's say you want to learn Swift. That's okay. You can learn both side by side. Okay, give some time for Java, some time to some for some time for Swift. The advantage will be you can be a iOS developer in future, right? So if you are learning Swift now, buy a MacBook, buy an iPhone. You can buy any iPhone. Maybe 4S will do. Buy a second-hand laptop or second-hand MacBook. Work with Swift programming. You can be an iOS developer. And if that allegation is true or that rumor is true, Google will be buying or Google will be, will be using Swift. For uh, Android, now you can make two apps, two types of apps. You can also make iOS app and you can use Android app. So there's, those, there's no harm. So the final thought is don't stop yourself for, by learning uh, for uh, making Android apps. Start building now, learn Java. So that is a rumor. Maybe it's a rumor or, or some uh, real news. Nothing is confirmed yet. So if, if it is confirmed, I will let you know. And then we'll discuss about how to transform yourself from, from Java to Swift. So that's it from this video. Thanks for watching.